What is going on everybody? This is Wes aka Dougie and my Snuggie bringing you a brand new video today. Today I'm going to show you how to play Conquest. I see this question asked all the time. What's the best way to play Conquest? Well, I'm going to do a little tutorial video show you how to get started. Take over this completely huge map and get some great rewards in the process. First thing I want to show you is there are a lot of rewards to be had. If you hit the options button, go under missions. Hit your R1 button to go to the Conquer and Command section. Look at all these rewards that you can get. Some good cards, and on some of them I haven't even got to the Diamond section yet. Here on the Twins, I already got Harmon Killerbrew, and you can get Rod Carew. On the Braves, I got a Jeff Francoeur, an 88 rated Jeff Francoeur. And then you can get Eddie Matthews. Every team you conquer gives you two different rewards. You have a gold level reward, and then you have... A diamond level reward all these cards are pretty fantastic most of them anyway you can get some crappy ones like Pineda but then after you finish him you get Ichiro so wow so this is what the map looks like when you first start the game you're this one little lone square here in the middle of the United States and you got to take over this whole entire map you start out with a lowly six million fans. If you hit the square button, you can see how many fans you got. Also in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see how many fans you got. You can see how many territories you own. Right now we own zero. This is our stronghold right here. We need to defend this. There are four phases to this game. There's the attack phase. This is where you attack other territories and try to take them over. Then there's the capture phase. This is where you try to capture fans from an opposing team. You take fans from another team and make them into your fans, basically. Then you have the reinforce phase. Basically, what you do there is you take your fans that you gained and you kind of move them to another to a territory to reinforce that territory. It's a numbers game, so if you have another team barreling down upon you trying to take over your area, you can reinforce that territory with more fans to prevent that from happening. And then you have a move fans phase. Basically what you do there is you take fans from one of your territories and move them to another one. You get one chance at that. And that just helps you reinforce another area on your map. Alright, let's get started. Attack phase. That's the first phase you'll see. This is your stronghold. First thing we need to do is reinforce this stronghold. We got 6 million fans right now. Kind of what we want to do first is what I suggest doing first is taking over the territories that directly surround your stronghold. This kind of gives you a defensive barrier to prevent other teams from attacking you. So let's do that. What you do is you click on your stronghold and now you can see all six of these little areas around my stronghold are lit up and we can take over those territories. So let's do that to begin with. Boom, we just moved there. We got five million fans left to play with. We just moved that around the stronghold. So we're gonna go down to the next one just keep doing that all the way around as you can see the Rockies are kind of doing the same thing every team's kind of doing the same thing once you move the other teams move and there we go now it's time to play the capture game what we do here is we try to capture another team's fans so you can click anywhere on the map at this point and then you choose the team that you want to capture fans from. Later on in the game, this phase is pretty much useless. Right now we want to capture some fans. So we can pick any team we want and try to take some fans away from them. So right now I'm going to take the Colorado Rockies. And then you can choose your difficulty level. The higher the difficulty level, the more fans you can take from that team. I'm going to go with Veteran. That'll give us 2 million additional fans. And it'll take them from the Colorado Rockies and put them in our fan base. So let's click on Veteran. And what you'll do is you'll play a game. We go, we're going to be playing a 3 inning game versus the Colorado Rockies. It's just like playing a regular Diamond Dynasty game except it's 3 innings. It's going to choose a random pitcher. You set your lineup. Let's play this game. Now my lineup, you might have noticed, is nothing but Tampa Bay Rays. And the reason I'm using only Tampa Bay Rays is because of the missions. I'll show you the mission screen here in a little bit. Another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. Here's 
there's a swing and oh man way out of here all right one more out and we win a ball and two strikes here's the pitch there we go crushed him eight to nothing all right, so now we're in the reinforced stage. We just beat the Colorado Rockies and took 2 million fans from them. So now what we want to do is reinforce a territory. As you can see, the Twins have a three over here. So they could very well come, start coming towards us. They got, a, they got numbers on us. This game is all numbers game. You want to make sure that you have numbers that can match or exceed their numbers. So I'm going to reinforce one of my territories over here. If you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see we have four reinforcements remaining. So I'm going to make one of these guys a three. All I do is click on the territory and hit over to the right two times. That puts three million fans in that particular territory. we still got two million fans remaining. So we also have the Royals down here. And they have a three as well. So I'm going to put the other fans, I'm going to put them in this territory right here. And boom. Now we have a three on both sides. Now at this point, we're in the move section, the move phase. We can actually move some of these fans around if we want to. And all you can do is move them from one territory that you own to another territory that you own. At this point, I'm kind of happy with where, the, with where my fans are distributed right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the options button and tell it to skip this phase. And now we're back into attack phase. Now we can start taking over other territories again. Now one thing I do suggest is kind of hitting an edge of the map and working your way from the outside in. Because eventually one of these teams are going to just start taking over everybody. So even though I moved three fans over here, I'm not going to worry about the twins right now. If they, if they come after me, they come after me. I'll worry about that later. They don't. They only have three. They can't move too far. So I'm just going to start taking over these empty territories around me. And I'm just going to work my way up to the edge of the map. And then I'm going to go west from there. Now i got these fans I can move around. And what I suggest you doing is just taking over as many empty spots as possible at the beginning of the game. So there we go. I took over as many empty fans as I could. Now we're back to the capture phase. And it's just rinse and repeat. So now I can capture some more fans. I can take, choose any team I want, and then I play that team and capture some of their fan base. And one thing you also want to do as you're playing, after you play each game, I suggest hitting your options button and looking at your missions. Now the collections missions, really nothing updates unless you get a card that you need to complete some kind of collection of one of your teams. However, if you go to the statistical section you just hit R1 on your on your controller these update as you play now you actually have to play the game for this stuff to up to update it does not update when you simulate a game so I didn't complete anything here although if I hit R1 and go to the conquer and command section as you can see my raise went from I got 27 innings this time I used to get like 54 innings I believe so one more game with the Rays, and I should be able to complete this mission. So what I'm going to do is on the uh, the capture phase, I'm going to play one more game, and hopefully this mission should be complete, and I'll get an 85-rated Will Myers card. So let's do that now. Now who do I want to capture fans from? I'm going to go with the Twins this time. So you just click anywhere on the map, and this time we'll play the Twins. And I'm going to stick with Veteran, because I know I can beat Veteran pretty easily. Now, if you're a better player than I am, and you're comfortable with playing on All-Star Hall of Famer Legend, you can capture more fans that way. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to choose Veteran. So I'm going to do this. We'll end up playing the Twins. And here we go. It's just the same as when we played the Rockies a minute ago. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Kiermaier. This is not how I wanted this to go. That is the ball game. So we lost. That sucks. Alright, so we lost that game on our capture phase. 
not all is lost though we didn't really lose anything we just didn't capture any turn or any fans from the twins they hit the crap out of the ball hats off to them all right so now we're back to the reinforced stage so where do I want to go at this point I'm gonna work this edge of the map up here I do believe and head towards Seattle so I'm just gonna put all of my fans in this one basket up here boom and now we move to the move fans phase uh, at this point I really don't want to move any anyone anywhere if I saw another team threaten me I might move a couple fans down this direction like say if the Royals or the Cubs were threatening me the twins have one right on my territory here but they can't really attack because they just have a one and we have a one so they if you have a one you can't attack another territory you have to have a two or higher to attack so let's just keep moving across the top here oh this is the move section let's go ahead and skip this phase now we're back into the capture phase and I'm just going to move across the top here just keep heading west keep an eye out because every time you make a move the other team's starting to make it a move and if you see any of them coming your way with numbers then you want to kind of react to that and make sure you defend your base you don't want them taking your stronghold so it looks like we're safe for right now so I'm just gonna keep moving west now it's time for the other teams to attack they're done there we go now we're back to the capture phase and it's just rinse and repeat basically the game plan I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take all as many empty spots as I can and head towards the Seattle Mariners Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I want to make sure nobody is trying to capture my stronghold right here. Because I only have a million fans in this stronghold, and it can easily be captured. It can easily be captured if someone, another team, starts heading my direction, and they have a lot of fans. If you see that coming, you want to make sure that you reinforce your base a little bit. So since we just played a game, I want to go back to my mission screen. Hopefully we finish the raise this time. So I'm going to go to the Conquer and Command section, and we did. We finished all of our innings that we needed for the Rays. 850 innings. I just used all Rays in my lineup. So now this, this mission is done, and we, we are going to get an 85 rated Will Myers. So let's click on that and redeem it. And that card is now our, ours. So now you can see we get a new mission for the Rays, and that's called Embody the Rays. And basically what you do there is you feed players to your created Diamond Dynasty player, and the little progress bar, which is at 0% right now, it will go up. And when we get it to 100%, we will get a 94 rated Ben Zobrist. Now I'm working on the Rays collection. I'm going to go back to my collection screen and see if I have any additional Rays to play with. Now as you can see here, I am working on completing the Rays collection for another for a different reward only the only ray I need right now is Chris Archer so I don't really want to get rid of any rays that I currently have however I'm gonna look and see if I have any duplicates it does not yeah right here we have one duplicate Richie Schaefer as you can see the X2 in the top left hand corner of the card that means I have two of that card so I can actually afford to get rid of one of these so I'm gonna feed him to my Diamond Dynasty player and that will help the mission go up. It'll probably only go up by 1%. We'll see. So to do the feeding and, and work on that mission, you will go to your My Squad screen. Hit L1 to go to the little star at the top. And this is your created player. If you haven't already created one, it'll give you a chance to do it. I have not used this player at all. I'm just using him for the mission purposes at this point. So you want to go down and click on Train. Now that player, I don't forgot his name, but he was a third baseman. So I'm going to go to the third base cards that I have. And we're going to look for a Tampa Bay's Rays. It's Richie Schaefer right here. So we're going to click on him, and it's going to say, Feed Me. And you want to make sure that you're only giving him cards that you mind giving up. Because it's going to take that card out of your collection. So now that I'm done, I'm going to hit the Options button and Confirm Feeding. You click X to Confirm Feeding. And it's going to warn you that this card will be deleted from your collection. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it yes. And it'll go through his little motions here. And now that he added, basically what happened is 
my created player absorbed the stats from that card and it improved my player a little bit. But also, if we go back to Conquest now, now that we're back in Conquest, we're going to click on the Options button, go to Missions, go back to the Conquering Command, and we're still at 0%. But trust me, it did count a little bit towards completing this mission. It's just not enough to get it to 1%. As you can see, the higher the the higher the rated card, the more the percentage it counts. That was the lowest rated card on the, on the Razor, the lowest... One of the lowest rated cards, so it didn't count very much. It's going to take quite a few cards at that rate. If I had some better cards, like some silvers or something like that, it would have counted more towards the progress. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. I hope this helped you out a little bit. I'm going to do a few more videos with this conquest mode. Show you as I make progress how I do it. This will be my second time through the map. I finished the map already once. I got a few rewards out of it. I just want to keep doing it so I can keep working on those missions. But that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll help you out the best I can. I'm not an expert at this, but I have beat the map. So I thought I would do a little video series on to help the people that just don't understand the game. It's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. And it's a lot of fun, and you can get some really good rewards. So that's going to be it for today. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like what you saw. My name is Dougie. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.